Hey guys, Helping Hands here, bringing you your first build order for the Africa Core. Let's begin. Let's talk about the Caro build. This is one of the strong, the strongest builds right now in the game that um, I think either Orange Pest or, or Elpern developed, which I've been using to quite a lot of success in my recent matches, which is the four Panzer Pioneer build. So you get four Panzer Pioneers. Now, Panzer Pioneers, close quarters, they're not very good at. But if you use them at range and fight them and try and keep your opponent at range, they will do quite well. And, and, and you know, and maybe in cover, they'll do quite quite well in, in engagements. The reason why you want lots of Panzer Pioneers is because when you get the Caros out later on, you've got a lot of units to be able to repair those with. If you just go for, like, uh, Panzer Grenadiers or, you know, go for the, the Berskleri, these guys can't actually repair. And Panzer Grenadiers, they don't repair as fast as the Panzer Pioneers. They also so I think they cost a bit more to reinforce than standard Panzer Pioneers. So once you've got these guys out, you're moving around on the map, you go for the light support company. Now, I've noticed that people at the moment, against, you know, playing against Americans or maybe Brits, they tend to either go for the Dingo or a Weasel out earlier on. So maybe to counter that, what I do potentially is go, instead of going straight into light support company, I might get myself a 250 out and utilize this with my infantry to maybe fend off a Weasel or maybe a Dingo. So you may want to throw a 250 in there potentially, but let's just get rid of it for the moment. Once you've got this out, you go for maybe Machine Gun, MG34. You don't use that. With your, pan your Panzer Pioneers to help win engagements, set that up correctly. You might be floating at this point. You want to be going maybe even maybe Assault Grenadier Squad. So I've noticed that Elpern, he loves to go for the Assault Mechanized group on the field. But I would I personally don't think that's a great idea because that makes you, you need to have no handheld AT if you do that. I would go for the Panzer Jaeger Squad. Call these on the field because at least if, you know, if you're up against like, the, uh, the American quad half track, so if you're, let's, let's just make it so, you know, in, in the worst case scenario in the early game, you're going to be up against maybe something like this. Maybe the the Brits will have a Stuart or something as well. The Stuarts might, you know, they might have a, they might be able to get an early Stuart out or whatever like that. Ooh. The Panzer Jaegers themselves in the half track, they would get absolutely creamed by both those things. But at least what you want to do with the Panzer Jaegers is you want to try and get them firing at max range, getting some damage in and maybe forcing the Stuart and any other light vehicle, the quad, to be focused firing another squad that's maybe in cover like Panzer Pioneers. So they're shooting them and not your important unit, your pan the Panzer Jaegers that are going to be dishing out the damage. You want to try and get them to focus your Panzer Pioneers or whatever, right? Well, and, and this maybe sneaks in the ba in, in from behind. So the quad's like shooting from the front and you manage to sneak in the, the, the uh, this half trip from behind and do rear damage and just try and pick away at the squad. If the vehicles, all, you know, it looks like it's about to get wiped or going down, try and press F and jump out there before the vehicle dies because you could lose the entire squad inside the half trip. That has happened to me, unlikely, but you know you're pretty much guaranteed to at least, at least, at least lose at least one or maybe even two men from the squad if they die within the half track and then they might easily be cleaned up by other units or by the tank by the time they jump you know get out of the vehicle so try and jump up before the 250 dies but yeah panziegers um very good their AC rifles will definitely do very well against the early game like vehicles that the allies will bring so I would, I would normally always go for these over going for the assault grounds unless you're doing uh, really well on fuel. Maybe you want to go for the assault grenades and then just maybe chase down some units. But if you do go for this and suddenly a quad comes out, you're gonna have nothing to deal with it until the rad comes out. So that's the next buy that you want to do here. Some people like going for the fire support elements and going for the flat verbaling, but what I you know, the rad just seems to be a lot better and lot you know just a lot better chasing down squad. Go for the mechanized company. And once you've got that out, you want to be. Ooh. Like we blew up those train tracks you want to be getting yourself a rad out as fast as possible now the rad won't be a thing it'd be things like a stirrup but that's why you have panzer jaegers with the with the puma right you keep these maybe in the half track together and then this this together would be enough to kill a stirrup for instance and this this uh, rad is very good against chasing down infantry killing infantry in general and then what, what you'd also want to do at this point is click on your armory and you'd want to be buying uh, with the excess manpower that you've saved up by this point because you've gone panzer pioneers they're not as expensive as standard panzer grenadiers you'd be wanting to go for the vehicle survival package because if you look at the red armored car it's got 420 uh, health there if I get that vehicle survival package boom it's now 500 so you increase its health by 80 which is very nice so it makes it you know a lot more you give it better survivability and then also if you've got you still got some spare manpower left over you want to go for tungsten core ammunition as well okay which you know increases the penetration you know on your your vehicles basically globally upgrades vehicles for special armor piercing rounds this also i believe applies to the caros as well 
Shortly after this, your, your, the commander you'll be going with is the Italian Combined Arms. You can click apply to that. Basically, uh, only you know, zero CP, so you might just click, click them anyway. But that's as far as you're going to go in this tech tree for the moment. You go for the Semivente and then straight for the Caro as soon as you can. Generally, Semivente is pretty garbage against infantry. It's okay against tanks, but the Caro is where it's at. The Caro is good against everything. And with the buffs that you get at the Vehicle Survival Package and Tungsten Core, it makes them even better. And then, you know, you, I'd probably get the first Caro out. And then once you got that out, you probably, before you get the second one out, you probably want to get the extra CP for Pack to Steel. So the Caro costs 320 uh, manpower and 45 fuel currently. Okay. But then if you go for the Pack to Steel upgrade, the difference is huge. 272 manpower and 38 fuel. So then you can start making, you know, more Caros. They're very cheap and they're very effective. To buff the Caros up even further and all your, all your vehicles even further, what you would do is you would want to, if you haven't, you know, you don't really want to you know, build yourself tier 3. You can go for the support armor elements. You get that text. That then unlocks emergency repair kits and rapid advance. So then if you go for emergency repair kits, again, look at 500 health, 560 health. You get the emergency repair kits and boom. 640 health, 580 health. So that again increases the health of your units. And then if you go for the rapid advance, it increases the speed rotation rate of all vehicles and enables them to cap the territory. So they'll be, you know, be concerned. So this is their normal turn rate here. Right. Then I get this rapid advance. See, quite a lot faster with the turn rate and that. And then we can also capture territory now. It's also worth noting the emergency repair kits allows the vehicles at this current patch. They can repair out of combat and on the move, which is very strong as well. You know, try and keep your Panzer Pioneers alive. You might want to be getting, you know, in terms of upgrades for them, you might want to go for a couple of grenade launchers. Uh, maybe a sweeper to sweep for any mines you might, you know, you don't want to run into mines of your vehicles or something. Maybe a flamethrower as well. So you'll use the flamethrower here to burn, you know, obviously enemies out of buildings and stuff. Sweeper to sweep mines. And these grenade launchers are good to get rid of enemies out of buildings or they clumped up blobs. Also, they've got the handy, you know, you can lob a smoke, smoke grenade down as well, which I like to do. Let's say, you know, the enemy know you've got loads of carols. They're preparing an anti-tank gun line. What you do is you look, get these guys in, you lob the smoke grenades in first to blind them. And then you just blitz in with carols right in their grill. You, they go so quickly, they'll be able to like beat the turn, to, the, the, the turret turn rate on lots of enemy armor and do very well there so you know maybe you know try and use your pants pioneer smoke in conjunction with a big blitzkrieg attack with your vehicles you'll do very well super super late game you know you, if you're not you know realistically you should be like just constantly throwing you know keep making carrows and just you know what you do with carrows is you you fight with them when they get a bit low you just pull one back you throw a fresh one in the fight and keep it fighting you try not to lose them if possible because the great thing about the caro is that when they have vet one they benefit from Italian Vanguard currently, which is increased rate of fire with uh, amongst other Italian units. So the more of them they have, you have of, of carriers you have together, the better they're going to be. And they, though they do need, you know, ideally vet one to, to keep them uh, to buff them up, right? So you end up with lots of carriers. Like I've you know done a match recently where I've had like eight carriers and absolutely just dominated huge armies, um, and they've done really well. And you're just constantly cycling them in and just make sure to repair them with the pioneers. Um, super late game, you may want to go for you know if you, if, if you uh, still feel like you may be struggling to break the enemy's position, maybe they, they've got too much of a defense. You go for tier four, and then you may go for, for something like a Stuka. You know, let's say you're playing on that map, a big bridge in the middle, and it's on high ground, and that 2v2 map, you know, walking stuka would be good. Maybe a flak 36 if you want to try and like hold your ground in some certain areas. But I wouldn't really go for you know bother going Panzer threes because Caras just are cheaper and do you know much more, you know much more you know efficient than what Panzer threes are. So you only would go for tier four if you feel like maybe you need a flak 36, maybe to shoot down planes or to like hold your ground and stuka to break uh, a very defensive position. Actually, one other thing I forgot to mention is that you know I, I probably noticed that I didn't say go for the medical truck right here, because maybe you want to get this a bit later on in the match, but because this costs 20 fuel and 200 manpower, that's quite expensive, and that is going to delay your rad tech. If you go for that, you're going to slow down the, how quickly you get the rad out. So instead of going for the medical truck, what you'll want to do is you'll want to grab your 250 out and make sure, you know, because a lot of squads will be low health, um, try and bunch your squads up around the 250, pop the medical station ability. This does have quite a long cooldown time, by, by the way. If you pop that on, Last for 15 seconds. It doesn't fully heal squads, I've noticed as well, but it does act as a, some, a, you know, a, a somewhat decent heal for free. So yeah, it's a 180 second cooldown. That's a lot. That's three minutes that you won't be able to heal the rest of your, your squad. So you need to, you know, you try and use it, you know, in, in, 
in time with your like your your squads when they're low and they try and group them up around the heart object to get that healing because if you heal your squads you save yourself manpower because they're not going to drop as soon as they get into a fight after they've been reinforced and uh, yeah try and keep the 250 alive if you can until late game because you will still want to use the medical station if you can if you can help it and then if you end up losing it you maybe want to call yourself in another pansy egg like two pansy eggs is not you know a, a bad idea because they're always going to be useful, you know, with the anti the anti tank tear gas round. If you've got a lot of munitions by the late game, maybe upgrade the MG34, which makes them better as well against infantry. But uh, yeah, there you go. So let's say you have a weak squad like this, you, you get managed to keep the half track alive. You get it a bit one. You can rotate your squads in and out of this half track, jump them in, and now over time they will slowly start healing. As you can see here, the health is going up. Fairly quickly, actually. So that's another way you can heal your squads, even when that medical station thing is on cooldown. So you try and keep your, your 250 alive if you can help it, because it will definitely save you a lot of manpower in the long run with its healing capabilities. Anything else have I forgotten with this? Oh, yeah. And then, you know, other upgrades. Since you're not going for the burst clearer, you'd probably go for vehicle support, secure location, increase the caption decapture rate of infantry when they are near vehicles, and then vehicle support force recon. Increase the line of sight of infantry when they are near vehicles. So it's just, you know, more buffs to your infantry. And they're near vehicles, so just you know, again, we got a lot of a lot of you know, you have a lot of Panzer Pioneers and a lot of vehicles that all just benefit from these buffs. This these buffs here are only for you know, if you've got Burst Glary or if you've got Grenadiers, um, because Grenadiers can benefit from the Brenners. But if you're not making you're not making them in the in the first place, just go for those upgrades. So these this is the the Italian combined arms tech. This 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 this. That's why. So guys, that's the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and want more content, check up over here and over here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the button down here. Um, to catch you in the next video guys, take care and I'll see you soon.